Okay, so this fire alarm panel was installed in 1987. Uh, it's a conventional zoned analog fire alarm system. The It's been maintained over the years. It's in good shape, but it has had some problems recently. The building's uh, fire alarm system has been maintained in compliance with NFPA 72, tested, maintained. The owner is going to is considering and will be phasing in a complete retrofit of the of a new fire alarm system in the building but right now they would like to be able to get this fire alarm system uh, and the, con the control panel uh, removed and replaced and uh, be able to phase this project without having to do it all at once and so then probably in the next year they'll go ahead and go in and upgrade the rest of the system in the building but because of the backward compatibility we're able to just maintain the existing can on the wall so all the conduits coming into the can can be maintained the back box can be maintained even from 1987 and we can go ahead and install all of the well Shaw can install all of the new electronics uh, reland all of the existing field wiring and install this new retrofit kit and door on this existing panel from 1987 and test it and we've already pre-tested haven't we Shaw? Yes. And why did we pre-test? Make sure everything is working. Good, good baseline so for existing exactly. conditions and we kind of know the way the system's supposed to work so when we put it back together again and program it we can retest it and make sure it was working the way it was working when we started the job or before we started the job and so with that being said we're going to go ahead and try to see if we can get some photos, a time lapse on this, and watch the retrofit here of the existing control panel. What's going on? Okay, so Shaw, while I'm here, just really quickly, if you can, give a brief description of how you're going to attack this after now, button the panel, all the cards, what's your, what's your plan? Well, James, I have no plan whatsoever. Are you just going straight? <laughs> You're just like, I'm kind of shut. <laughs> I'm kind of tackling it as I go. Um, you have like a, I'm going to do this first, and this second, no, this no, third? I have no plan. Uh, I, I'm like one of those types who, when I start a task, I'll be in the middle of that task and I'll see something else and I'll end up doing that task. And then I'll, I'll start like five separate tasks before I finish the first one. So I'll. Then I'll jump back to that first one, so it's kind of, and that's what I always do at home on everything I do, so it'll kind of, it's the same way with my work. I'll be doing this, so okay, I'm going to do this first, right? And then I'll uh, I'll get stuck over here doing this, and in the end, it, it gets done. Right. It's just, I, I, I'm just all over the place. I have no... Uh, but know. the cards could come out first. You always know that. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> basically, I peel it down like an orange, right? You, you take out the things that are in your way. You take out the cards. I'm going to start taking out all the bulky stuff so I can get in here and get in the wires and, and then dress up the wires to the side so I can put in the brackets, mount the new base. Okay. That's, that's the ideal plan. Um, you know, a lot of the wiring, we're going to run into issues with, you know, the lengths. The lengths aren't, you know, um, may not reach some of the new zone cards. So, you have um, to deal with that. Yet. So, at that point, you know, it, it may be installing some terminal cans in there that I, I do got offset terminal um, maybe two of them which it isn't going to give me too much um, right may, maybe enough of this but but then again like we got these brackets and I could probably fabricate some of these brackets maybe in some of the space spacing and reuse these brackets interesting okay for the um, porch so okay we'll, we'll see there's there, you know the main thing right now is just to get it What's going on?